You are watching With a Cup of Tea, the High Plains Book Awards edition, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings, Montana. Now here's our show. Welcome to uh, This House of Books. I have with us today uh, Miriam Kerner, mm -hmm. a, a finalist for the High Plains Book Festival, and she has a children's book that uh, we're going to talk about briefly uh, in a little bit. But first, maybe, Miriam, you could tell us a little about yourself. Yeah. Hello. I'm joining you today from Northern Saskatchewan, a small community um, just south of La Ronge, Potato Lake. And I live here with my husband and our nine sled dogs. Um, originally from Germany, you might notice my accent, but I've been living here now for the past 17 years, I think. Yeah, and this is where um, yeah, all my stories are set. They were set in northern Saskatchewan or even further north in the Arctic. Okay, wonderful. Now, where were you from in Germany? I'm just curious. Uh, a small town called Recklinghausen. It's like right the real industrial area, coal mining town. So coming from there to here was quite a big change, but that's kind of what drew me to it. I have never been really comfortable in the cities and uh, finding my spot here in northern Saskatchewan, surrounded by nature. Uh, I figured it out the other day. Um, I could, in theory, go from our home here with our dogs all the way to the North Pole without crossing a road. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Well, tell me about the book and tell us the name of the book. Hold it up, maybe. So that yeah, can... sure. Um, so this is uh, um, Kakari, and this is a novel set on the edge of the Arctic in Churchill, Manitoba. Lots of people don't know that northern Saskatchewan is not all plains, but once you get into the boreal forest, and then if you are in Manitoba further beyond that, you end up in the Arctic. <laughs> okay, it's about y young Emilou. Um, her mother believed in the geographical cure. So she moves from place to place and they end up in Churchill, Manitoba. And that's really the last place on earth Emily wants to be because out of town there's nothing but empty Arctic wilderness and polar bears and she isn't anyone for adventure. So, um, and she misses her friends. But then she meets Barnabas, a young Inuk who's training sled dogs for the Arctic quest. And they let her come and train dogs with them. And um, she soon falls in love with the land, but most importantly, she falls in love with Kagari. It's an unruly little puppy that doesn't fit in anywhere else, um, kind of, and she identifies with him. She has that same issue. She's looking for a place to belong. Uh, and by going out on the land with the dogs, with Barnabas, with Kakari, um, I shouldn't be saying too much. She might find it. <laughs> I said she might find it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's Wonderful. Kind of, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, who who's the audience for this book? Who would who would like to read it? I think it. I think it's well, young young adults. It's written for young adults, but it's also not written down. So, I think lots of adult readers enjoy it as well. Anybody who loves um, dogs would be one, um, but also who's curious about um, the Arctic and um, the Inuit culture and especially the dog team culture in the Arctic. There's lots of, um, you know, readers learn by just following Emily along as she learns about um, Inuit culture and the history of, of, of the area. So anybody who's interested in that and, who, and anybody who likes a good adventure story, actually, I think it's a good, okay. uh, it's a good armchair adventure. Yeah. Well, I, I think that, uh, you know, uh, books written for children and youth that are well-written, uh, I think are, Often just as appropriate for adults. Oh yeah, I, I always read young adult, young adult novels. I like that kind of age. Like I mean, it was fifteen, and um, it's that kind of age where you stop taking the world that you grew up in for granted, and you realize all of a sudden you could be anybody. And and you know that's a big responsibility, but it's also this big excitement. So she she's trying to figure out who she is and how she fits into that world. And that age I found really appealing and. Yeah, I, read, I, I myself read a lot of young, young adult novels. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us. This is uh, really interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having um, me here. And especially, you know, thanks, thanks to your bookstore and to um, the High Plains Book of Arts um, to making this possible. Well, best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> 
This program has been produced by This House of Books in collaboration with the High Plains Book Awards. The Book Awards were established to recognize regional authors and literary work that examines life on the High Plains. Nominations will be accepted starting in January 2021 on the website highplainsbookawards.org.